All right, so I did a whole video and afterwards I realized that I did a, um, a slow motion video. So uh, here's take two. All right, so very quickly here, to get ready to be able to paint on your nice background paper, here's what I need from you. I need your planning document, your background mostly colored. I need notes on there, as well as whatever emotion that you chose to do. All that done first, then you're gonna um, mix and find out the colors that you need on the side. And then you can see here that if I did a color and I didn't like it, I just X'd it out and check marked the one that was like, yes, that's perfect. Check mark, nope. Um, kind of on the way and then a check mark. So notice I am testing colors over here versus over here um, because obviously you're going to have colors that you don't like. Um, and then you'll paint over here. You can see I actually did some lines with pencil first to help guide my painting just like when I was working on my planning document. Um, and then I painted. Um, I do wanna talk about blending with you. That was one thing I attempted to cover. So let's talk about blending here. Um, unlike with watercolor where you can use water to blend, you have to use paint to blend. So like all this has pretty much dried since I did my last video. So say I wanna blend this kind of yellow color into purple. Well, if I just add purple right now, it's not gonna blend. So I'm gonna go back with my kind of ochre color, add some ochre, and wherever I want it to blend, I kind of need more paint there. All right, now I'm ready to blend in my purple. I gotta mix up the right purple though. It's kind of a purple with a little bit of red in it. That went almost pink. Let's go a little bit more purple. And add in more of that ochre to kind of get those colors to blend, like so. Notice I've got newspaper here because you're gonna paint to the edges, and so that way the paint can come off right there. And lastly, notice how clean my water is despite already painting with different colors. That is because I am pretty much just wiping my brush on the paper towel. The goal is to avoid water as much as possible because I don't want this to be all saturated with water. Water does not help it blend, so I avoid it a lot. All right, so that is how I want you to think about getting started with your background, is making sure you have a good plan to go with, test your colors, and then use what you know about blending and color theory to make the colors that you want and have them blend nicely. This will take us a couple of days to paint, and I cannot wait to see how they come out.